Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Meliodas. Uh, so recently I've been looking to figure out how I can get custom texture Pokemon on my Minecraft server. And I actually noticed that a lot of people were wondering the exact same thing. How can you add custom texture Pokemon without overriding the current uh, Pokemon's data? Like without overriding the current Pokemon's texture? Uh, I actually found out recently, so I'm going to go ahead and share that with you guys today. Um, first thing what you're going to need to do is you're actually going to need to download the mod itself from reforge.dg. I'll go ahead and link that in the description. So go ahead and get that downloaded. Um, it'll take you to an ad page. Just skip the ad as soon as it's done. And then it'll start downloading automatically. I'll be right back as soon as that's done downloading. All right, guys, so that's done downloading. As you can see, I have it on my desktop now. Another thing you're gonna need to download is a plugin for your server called NBT Edit. Um, J11335 actually released one for Sponge. You can go ahead and download it from this page right here. Just download this NBT Edit 1.12-202 uh, jar. Um, upload it to your server mods folder and it should be good to go. Yeah, I'll go ahead and link that in the description for you guys as well. All right, so let's get started with the actual tutorial itself. Uh, with this jar file you downloaded from reforge.gg, you're going to need to extract it with a program like WinRAR 7-Zip. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use WinRAR for now, so let's go ahead and get that opened up. And then you're going to go into, go into Assets, Pixelmon, Textures, and then Pokemon. You're going to need this Pokemon file, so I'm just going to go ahead and drag it to my desktop. All right, so we got it to our desktop now. Second thing you're gonna need to do is just create a new folder that you're gonna need put all the resources in. This is gonna be a resource pack folder. Um, so you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it test pack. Open it up and you're gonna need to follow the exact same pathway you found to get this Pokemon folder in here. So create a new folder and you're gonna call this one assets. Go inside of your assets folder, you're gonna create a new folder, and you're gonna name it Pixelmon. Inside of that Pixelmon folder, you're gonna create a new folder, call it textures. And then you're gonna drag that Pokemon folder you just put on your desktop into your textures. You'll be good to go from there. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the Pokemon folder itself, and it'll have a picture of every single Pokemon in the game and their multiple forms. I'm not going to go super into detail about how to actually change uh, what the Pokemon looks like. If you found this video, chances are you already know how. Um, so I'm just going to change a Pokemon really fast. Magnemite looks really easy. Um, so let's go ahead and open Helm up. Uh, I personally use paint.net to edit my Pokemon. You can also use programs like Blender, or if you don't have either of those, you can even use programs like uh, MS Paint that comes pre-installed on your computer. So let's just go ahead and do a really quick ex texture for him. Uh, we're just going to change his default bluish green color to a black, like a dark gray color. All right, so as you can see, we've got our dark gray Magnemite now. We're going to go ahead and save this. And right now, I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Save it as the Pokemon's name.png. Hit save. You're good to go. All right, so now that we're back on the desktop, as you can see, I've got my Magnemite.png right here. You're going to want to go back into your test pack folder, go into your assets, Pokemon textures, Pokemon. And right here, you're actually going to need to create a new folder. So go ahead, hit new folder. And with this folder, you're going to need to name it all lowercase custom hyphen. And then you can name it whatever you want. If you're making shadow Pokemon, you're going to make custom shadow. If you're making nightmare Pokemon, you're going to make custom nightmare, stuff like that. For this instance, I'm just going to name it custom shadow. Open that up, and then you're going to want to put your Magnemite folder inside or Magnemite file inside of there. Now, there's one thing we've actually got to do left in order to um, make this resource pack usable, and that's to add the metadata. So, go back to your very beginning where it shows assets and right click create new text document, and you're going to want to name this pack.mcmeta. If this pops up for you at all, just go ahead and hit yes. And then right click, 
and you're gonna need to edit this I personally use notepad plus plus um, if you don't have that you can use whatever even normal notepad works and then you're gonna want to copy this that I have um, in the description below into your metadata metadata go ahead and save that you can close this out and you're good to go you've now got a f working functional texture pack go ahead and select both of them send to a compressed zip And then you can name this texture pack whatever you want. I'm gonna name it test pack. All right, now let's go ahead and load up Minecraft. I'll be right back as soon as that's loaded. All right, guys, so as you can tell, I've got my Minecraft loaded up. For the sake of convenience, I'm just gonna go ahead and go onto my multiplayer server to play this. Um, it's actually Rose Red. IP will be in the description if you guys wanna join. So go ahead and join the server you have. And it's very important to make sure you have NBT Edit installed on your server already. Otherwise, you will not be able to uh, change the texture without modifying uh, the custom, po like the Pokemon's default texture itself. You won't be able to have two textures for it. So let's go ahead and we need to install that resource pack still. So go ahead and open your resource pack folder and drag your test pack.zip or whatever you named it into there. Hit done, go ahead and go back into it. You can see it's open now. Alrighty, and we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and pokey give myself a Magnemite. As you can see, when I throw it outside of its Pokeball, it has its normal texture. It doesn't look any different than what it normally looks like. This is where NBT Edit comes in. So throw it out of its Pokeball and you need to look directly at it and type the command slash NBT edit. It'll look up, uh, open up this whole menu. It looks a little confusing at first. Trust me, it's not really that confusing. It's actually super useful. It lets you animate statues and stuff like that as well. But under here where it shows root, tag compound, click that and it'll open up uh, these little icons at the top. You're going to look at this light blue one that says string. Go ahead and hit that and you'll see down here it opened up a thing called string one if you hit enter on your keyboard you can change this file so where it shows string one under name you're going to want to write custom texture just like that under value this can be whatever you named it before so if we go back into our files over here assets pixel on pokemon you can see i named it custom hyphen shadow if you named it anything else like galaxy or cyber or anything like that, you would want to change it. But since I named it shadow, I would put shadow right here. And it's got to be all lowercase just like that. When you hit save, as you can tell, my magnemite's got a different texture to it. Now just to prove this does actually work, I'm going to go ahead and give myself another magnemite. So you can see I've got one dark magnemite and I've got one normal texture magnemite. And that's pretty much it guys that's how you go ahead and uh change the textures without changing the default texture hope this helped you guys if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave it in the comments below you guys have a great night